So a fuse is just a fuse, right? Well, that's not always the case. So this fuse over here is a current limiting time delay fuse. This one over here is a fast acting fuse. And there is a difference between the two fuses. So this one over here, the time delay fuse, it can overamp for a brief moment. So I'd say it's a 10 amp fuse. It can have a overamp or it can overamp up to 15, 18 amps, whatever, for a brief second without blowing. It's a slow blow fuse. This fuse over here is a fast acting fuse. So if it's a 10 amp fuse, as soon as it sees 10 amps, it's going to blow right away. So that is something to pay um, extra careful attention to when you are replacing your fuses. Um, your time delay fuse is used a lot on motor starting um, across the line because on startup of the across the line motor starting, you have that really high inrush current. So a motor that would typically draw between, let's say, 5 amps on uh, startup, it might draw 8, 9, 10 or more amps. And that time delay fuse has that feature that's going to not allow the fuse to blow for a couple seconds. If that time amount elapsed and it still sees that high amp draw, then it will blow. Whereas, you know, your um, current limiting fast acting fuse, you want that circuit to uh, cut out right instantly, right away, because maybe it's a critical component that you don't want it to even have that higher amp draw in that brief amount of, for a brief amount of time. So you want it to blow instantly. So if you have a motor that keeps blowing fuses and you magged out the motor, you check the motor and the motor seems to be fine, but the fuses keep blowing, make sure that you're not using a fast acting fuse to feed that motor instead of a time delay fuse.